Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IAS. Welcome to the big news. The topic for today's discussion, chat GPT chatbot, a viral sensation. Before we understand what this topic is in greater detail, a quick general reminder. Baiju's exam prep IAS has already launched its official telegram channel. If you have not yet joined the channel, please do join so that you get all the current affairs related updates. Let's get started and try and understand what is this topic all about. First up, we have to understand about the company. We have one of the artificial intelligence and deployment companies called as the Open AI. As the very name denotes, this is a company that works on the artificial intelligence. What is the goal of this company? The company's goal is to make sure that it uses artificial intelligence for the larger benefits of the humanity. So making use of the artificial intelligence they come up with a product so that this can serve the entire humanity so some of the notable investors of this particular company happens to be microsoft kosla ventures raid hoffman charitable foundation this company earlier had come up with one of the products called as DALI. What is this DALI? This happens to be an artificial intelligence product that was initiated by this company OpenAI. What will it do? This is a new AI system which will create realistic images from the description that the user gives. Let's say for example, the user gives a description as Koilo dunking a basketball. This is the image that is released by DALI and if if there is an image where you want to edit, replace one image with another. For example, there is a dog. Now you give cute cat in this particular description box. So the dog will be replaced by the cat. So what is this DALI? DALI basically is an AI based text to the image converter. So you will have a box, you have to give the description. So whatever description you give in this box, the same will be converted in the form of an image. So this happens to be DALI. So this company previously had come up with an artificial intelligence system called as DALI and as a new initiative, it has come up with a new product called as chat gpt so our discussion for today is all about chat gpt what is this chat gpt this happens to be a chatbot where you can ask the questions and the platform uses all the artificial intelligence tools to provide the replies so the company has created so that the users can receive both technical and non-jargon answers. What are the features of ChatGPT? This will respond to the questions. It will solve basic mathematic questions. It will compose text, provide you basic academic articles, literary text, movie script as well, translation between languages from one language to another. It will also fix and debug programs, code errors as well. It will use text summarization, keyword detection. It gives recommendations to you and also provides explicit explanation of all actions with respect to the coding, so on and so forth. So chat GPT is basically one of the conversational artificial intelligence tools where you ask the question and you would get answers as we just discussed with respect to the features of the chat GPT. How to use chat GPT? As of now, this chatbot is free to use, but in the near future, they may charge as well. How do we use it? We have to go to their website. If you are a member of the OpenAI, log in to the account. If you already have an account, you can log in. If you do not have the account, you have to sign up and ultimately you would be taken to the chat window that appears after logging in to your account so in here what we will have is a description box you can ask questions and once the questions are asked to the chatbot the answers will be given now the question is is it free or is it going to be charged as of now people are using it and it is free of cost you don't have to pay any money whatsoever but in the near future it will be monetized that is because of the high cost of running this entire project how does it work it is based on the company's gpt 3.5 series of of language learning models. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer 3 and this is a kind of computer language model that relies on deep learning techniques to produce human-like text based on inputs. The model is trained to predict what will come next. 
That's why one can technically have a conversation with ChatGPT. According to OpenAI's blog post about ChatGPT, the chatbot was also trained using reinforcement, learning from the human feedback. What are the advantages as we discussed as part of the features? In case you want the chatbot to write an essay, it would be able to write an essay. Let's say you give a question, write an essay on why parliamentary democracy is superior to other forms of government. This is the answer given by the chatbot. So it will be able to provide all kinds of answers which are relevant to your questions. It will be precise in nature and it will also help and have a conversation with you as well. And in most of the cases, the advantages, it will also remove illegal requests. Let's say, for example, you are making a request which is illegal in nature. For example, the laws prohibit them. In that case, it will not give you the content as well. So it is able to filter out illegal content from the particular chatbot. So all that you can ask is queries which are legal in nature and the illegal ones will not be reflected on this particular portal. What are the limitations of this chatbot? As of now, it can at times give incorrect or the nonsensical answers. The chatbot has also displayed some of the biases related to racism as well as sexism. So these are some of the issues. In fact, the CEO of the company has also said that in case you feel that there are any issues with respect to the chatbot, the same will have to be notified. This will create a thumbs down on these and this will improvise on the overall outcome from this particular product. The chat box knowledge is only about those events that have taken place prior to 2021. It does not have much of events that have taken place after 2021. This is another disadvantage and at the same time there is a lot of biases when it comes to the training data. After discussing all this, one thing that we will always have to ask is artificial intelligence going to replace human beings? Is this chatbot going to replace number of jobs done by the human beings? There has been a speculation that those professions which are dependent upon content production could be rendered obsolete. For example, playwrights, professors to programs to journalists, all these jobs could be under threat if the artificial intelligence like chatbot comes into deployment in the near future. Since it is able to think innovatively, adapt in an innovative manner, it is also going to replace some of the journalists in the near future. However, at the current stage, the chatbot lacks the nuance, critical thinking skills or ethical decision making ability that are essential for the successful journalism. As of now, it may not replace the journalism, but in the near future, when more additions are added as part of the system, there is a likelihood that it can replace few journalists in the near future. Does this mean that ChatGPT will replace humans when it comes to writing? As of now, it has been giving grammatically and well-read answers, but at times, it is also giving lack of contextual and substance-based answers, which means as of now, it cannot replace the human beings, but if more programs and algorithms are introduced into this tool in the near future, it may replace the human beings when it comes to writing as well. Is this the only chatbot that we have? No. We have many other chatbots. One is being tested by Google and it is called as Lambda and many other companies are also working on a similar front. So what is that we have to understand? ChatGPT is one of the interesting and exciting use of artificial intelligence where humans can have a real conversation with a chatbot. It is this that we have to understand with respect to this topic. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. All the best.